Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beers, Minds and Spirits review. On a not a bad Saturday actually. Been busy today. Been gardening, then went shopping, come back, getting on with the October room. It's been one of them days. It's supposed to be off work. So it's the weekend. So today we're reviewing Brew Dogs Jackhammer. And it says on here to the bitter end. Uh, Ruthless India Pale Ale. United we stand for better beer, fiercely defiant and independent. Well, it will be if you keep getting punk equity. <laughs> I mean, are they really independent nowadays? I mean, they're going, the way they're going, they're, they're more on mainstream brewery status now. They've got more beers in the shops than most big, most of the mainstream breweries. But, uh, so. Gold pour, big frothy right head, massive tropical aroma. Oh. Yeah, so I'm doing, um, I'm building the octo room, and I did the frame the other week. I've just done two of the walls, so I've got the ship lap. I'm not using standard bloody um, 3b2s, 4b2s, I'm just using. Any old wood to get the sides, and uh, it's one of them play it by air jobs. And uh, the, the thing will come when it comes near, put hanging the doors and all that. I've got some five foot doors, so and it's eight foot by about, by about eight foot, eight by eight near, it's nigh on eight by eight. So, still quite strong. Um, Another brew dog, I'm sure I have reviewed a brew dog lately. I did, yesterday. Shit. Don't normally do two brew two um the same close by. I just wanted the beer. Oh lovely. I've definitely got a bitter end on it. Um, I find that a lot of people are, uh, are in this a lot of people they like the traditional don't like the craft stuff a lot of people like the craft stuff don't like traditional and then there's, a, there's obviously a load of people that don't mind what they drink they'll drink anything and obviously I'm in the drink anything category I mean it's uh, what time is it something daft like 8 o'clock Saturday night and I've only just this minute stopped yeah 10 to 8 yeah, just this minute stopped. Uh, it's pitch black outside now, so I can't do anything anyway. I work till the till the dawn, to the death. Um, I mean, the weekend you're supposed to calm, try and calm down, aren't you, and uh, <laughs> enjoy the weekend? But I've got the I've got the um, the taste for it now, is it, you know. And I want to get near the end. I am not quite sure what it's going to look like at the end. I know three walls are 100% shiplap and they're going to look pretty much bang on. It's the last wall, the door wall, where I may have to improvise. And then I've got to get the roof on. And it's a pent roof. So at some stage, I'm going to have to get me uh, circular saw out, put a line down and go down and go through whatever's there. Um, I presume to get the to get the roof perfect for the you know for the actual roof to go on. And uh, hopefully get it ship shape sometime either tomorrow or Monday. The rain apparently getting rain on Wednesday. So definitely want to get the roof up by Wednesday, get it all um you know as near to, as near as damn it. Get big screws in, screw it all together. I think once all four sides are up and the roof's on, the integrity will be spot on. And uh, that's a hope anyway. So, I've not listened to a single bit of news today. Don't know what's happening in the world. Don't bloody care. You know, sometimes, um, if you listen to every last bit of news, and, you know, you can, especially if you are a bit of a worrier, you can worry yourself into a grave. It's just not worth the hassle. What will be, will be. Case or are, so are. Sort of. 
wife just come down. Is that hot tub? Room big enough for the hot tub? I says, yeah. I says, we were on the bloody thing in, in, in the gazebo, but we were on the hot tub. We were on the base in the gazebo. <laughs> Talk about throwing us, um, doubt into my uh, thing. Imagine getting it in there and it don't fit. Jesus Christ, I'll have a dickhead. I'll just use it as another beer room. The uh, the mini the mini bear room. Although this bear room at the moment's like a like a shithole. I've got about fifty bottles here. I need to do a load of Instagram and I've got bottles to wash out, bottles to chuck, bottles to take to work to be used as um, for cuttings. Although I think that that season's nearly over now. I need to, I need to do it in March and April really, but. I've got so many little things on the go all at once. Um, I'm as busy as I can be. And yet, yeah, still taking more things on, still blasting my way through it. I've got to say the 7.2 percent is is welcome, especially especially after a long day at it. I haven't quite decided how I'm going to. Um, I haven't gained as much of the garden as I thought. I've still got. We've got a, a fence. The this the, there was a hedge at the back, and we had some arsehole neighbours. So I put a fence up, and the fence line goes like that, and then it goes on a wonk, and then like that. Where the wonk is, is where, where I butted up as much as I can. And in fact, on the back wall, what I've done, as I've, as I've built the wall, uh, screwed the wall in, I've painted it as well, so I ain't got to go around with paint. Because you can get around there, I've left a gap, but the gap is only like uh, as, as thin as me. Although my little one will probably get down quite easily, but I hope I'm not as quite as slim as him. And all that, all that is to do is to get uh, to knob all the bloody ivy that come that grows through next from next door, because their garden. Well, he's not a gardener. Let's put it that way. Yeah, I think nature has has took the garden. The only downside is all the ivy is coming through into my garden, so I keep having to get my hands into there, into my hedge, and pull the bloody ivy off from my side and try and knobble it from my side. So, again, Brewdog coming out with lots of beers. I picked up another one of theirs today in another beer hall. Went to Tesco's, wasn't fully uh, impressed by their beer update. Um, if I go out tomorrow, I might drag, ask the missus if she will go to uh, Morrison's and just to see if there's any other new ones at Morrison's that, I'm, that, that we didn't have in Blackpool. Because I do, I do find in different areas you get different things, so definitely, um, definitely want to look at that at least. My God, the amount of beers I've got here! It looks like a night, a night, a good night. There's so many bottles, um, wines, uh, spirits, beers, ciders, flipping heck. Um, you can see the yellow one, the yellow here. And you can just about see Jackhammer. He's uh, oh no, there he is. I need to spin the camera just that little bit that way. There we go. He's on camera now. And then you got all these plastic bottles. I am going to get a brew on, but it looks like it's going to be Monday or Tuesday. I need to focus all energy on getting uh, that sort of that, and then this moved into there. Once I get the doors out of here and the octo case out of here, uh, it might start returning things to normal. It's that thing into you decorate one room, the whole house is a shithole. And uh, at the moment my old garden's a shithole, I ain't done no mowing, so I ain't mowed it for a week now, a week and a half, and uh, it's getting long. And I usually mow mine once or twice a week, so... Obviously, we're coming to the time of the year when it's pitch black at eight o'clock. So you know you've got to be anything you do outside's got to be pulled in pretty quickly before the uh, 
darkness comes. I mean, September now, October soon, you know, we're in the winter months. And for work, that means that once things stop, stop growing, that's when I can win on a major scale. And it's funny because I've got work and then I've got the two gardens that I look after and also my own garden. And in each garden, I'm looking at developing their gardens even more, as well as developing work and developing my own. And uh, my own, I've got a plan, I'm going to change it. I don't like it how it is. So I'm going to change it and fucking fly. And uh, that was fast reaction, wasn't it? I'm like that when I'm driving. Um, you know, you do get some idiots on the roads there. Where was that today? We just come out of Wixers. I went to Wixers to get some uh, screws. And uh, fuck me, they got in fence panels for a fiver reduced to clear. Nothing wrong with them, just reduced to clear. And uh, I got no way of getting them home. Otherwise, I would have done. I'd have got them home and used them on this back or on this panel. Uh, for 30 quid, I could have done the whole lot. Jobs are good and woof. But, um, yeah. Yeah, but was that to go out? Oh, this fuck it. I'm going round. This dickhead. That was sat in 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 like a layby. It just pulls out in front of us. Beep, and I can see him staring at me in the mirror. And I'm going, "Yeah, fucking idiot." <clears throat> I'm not overly too much. And as I went, as I went by him, I went, "Eyes." Normally, when people, if I've done something wrong, I put my, my hand out the window. I go, sorry, sorry, that nah, you know. I'll admit I'm in the wrong straight spot, you know, because you're in the wrong, you're in the wrong, you know you're in the wrong. But this bloke obviously thought, no, no, no I'm in the right, fuck you. <sighs> Check my phone again today, still no live thing. Um, I'm hoping to get me with a phone up and running, um, amongst everything else I'm doing. <sighs> and the wife's the same, she's as busy as well. She's in the kitchen doing cakes, so, you know. We'll get an hour or two to ourselves where we just chill out in the bed watching TV and then fall asleep. And uh, there was a time when I was watching lots of Marvel films and at the moment I'm not watching nothing. Not even watching normal TV, although I can't be doing normal TV and it's full of shit. You know, life is so damn busy at the moment and I am flourishing in it. Absolute flourishing. We're on about now on on half the beer wall, beer room. This not not this side of the beer room, but the other side. Um, I've got some stuff, and we're on about. Um, I think in the winter months, all my cushions that I've got, all the cushions for the decking areas, will all go into the hot tub room. So along here, um, I'm hoping to get hold of some eight foot um, pallets rip them down and do basically what I've done here for the beer wall, do over there and have it for DVDs, games, because who watches DVDs these days? None of us do. I've got videos in the loft. I've got video, all the Disney videos, X-Files. I used to love X-Files. Brilliant film. Uh, brilliant series, rather. The films weren't as good as the series. Um, and, uh, you know, one of these days I'll get back into watching all of them, but... Um, the one about getting rid of uh, bookcases that we've got in the house. So the beer room is perfect for that because we can do a wall, go all the way along and you can get three or four hundred on one wall and it's not hurting me, it's not hurting the uh, the beer room. You know, it just fills it up with stuff. Uh, not that it's not already absolutely chocker at the moment. And uh, I'm getting to that stage where I really, really, really do need to stop buying beer. Uh, yeah, I've got a few too many now. You know, there's only so many beer reviews can, you can do a day. There's only so much you can talk about as well in beer reviews. S 14 minutes. So, yeah, not a bad weekend. Hope everyone out there has had a good weekend. Uh, so far, at least. I mean, my cousin, she posted on Facebook today. And uh, she worked on a hospital ward. She's a lovely girl. She suffers with anxiety, and uh, she they put her on the COVID ward or some sort of COVID ward, and it broke her 
she was on it. She was in a good place, and then they put her on a ward with the COVID, and she couldn't. She couldn't do it mentally. She couldn't do it, and she went off sick. And then she went on half pay, and I think she's on no pay now, and uh, drinking in excess. Although her drinking in excess isn't as bad as mine, but <laughs> but obviously I'm still working. You know, I'm still going to work. She's she's not going to work. Smoking. And obviously, anxiety, stress, mental health affects us all in different ways. And we must all, all remember this. We've all got friends out there who maybe have gone a little bit different. And sometimes a chat. Say, do you fancy a drink, mate? Just, you know, I'll come round to yours if you like. That sort of thing. And you know, in the world we are, where, where we are now, you know, there's a lot of... You know, you know your mates. And if they're dif different to how you know they are, then there's an issue. And it's not always the fact that they're being funny with you. It's that they're going through shit. And uh, I've lost a couple of mates, two or three mates, because they don't understand that I've gone through a pretty brutal few years. Especially last year. But even before that, I was suffering and I wasn't myself. And I could see where things were going and left out and uh, you know we're supposed to be mates and uh, you know they're having parties no invites and you think to yourself we're supposed to be mates then the invite and you think well fuck you you didn't invite me to that party or that party when all you were pissing you know and uh, you, you know it all goes it, it goes around in circles you know if you're going to be arsed if you're going to disre disregard that this person exists then you know in the end it's going to come back because that person knows that you, you've done the dirty on them but uh, yeah that's life isn't it you know it's a funny old life in times yeah but anyway and uh, the funny thing is I've got a lot of friends I don't see and I've got no issues with because I know that we're all very, very good friends. It's the friends that we were really close with. The ones that have gone on their own way. When we helped them in their darkest of days. And then when it was the other way around. No interest whatsoever. And you think, yeah, cheers. I'm sure things will change again. And uh, it'll be interesting then. But obviously sometimes the back's been broke. And uh, you think to yourself, yeah, but you weren't there for me when I needed you. So... Yeah, go and do one. You know, you think that anyway, don't you? Well, I'm itching to try that 67% beer, and I'm well pissed off with um, um, YouTube. I thought I'd be drinking it tonight. This was going to be the night, because I ain't got nothing to go up to tomorrow, apart from building that. And uh, as long as I'm not too pissed, I'll be all right. Although, I'm going to have a few beers. I'm going to have a few beers and wines later. Fuck it, eh? And... Uh, in fact, I, was watch I fell asleep watching TV last night and the wife woke up. She's not happy if I fall asleep. She don't mind me watching TV in bed. But if I fall asleep and the TV's on, she has to get up. She gets up in a right off. And she got up in a huff. She's just about to turn to I says, hey, I was watching that. And I wasn't. I was fast asleep. <laughs> but she woke me up when she got out of bed. And I managed to get out of it. And uh, uh, it, was a, it was a pure lucky moment. Because I'd have got shit in it this morning. But uh, yeah, I got out of it. Hey, come on. Sometimes you just play a blinder, don't you? So, enjoyed that. Um, tropical, bitter, but a nice tasting beer. Um, I think I paid about three or four quid for it from Morrison's. In my Blackpool beer hall. It's in my Blackpool beer hall bag. I've not even put them on the shelf yet. Because there's no room. And uh, yeah I really do need to stop buying beers. Uh, any free donations though. I don't mind them. You know, you can't be a bit of free. But um, I need to pluck up the courage. And go to like beer meets. Not that you can have them much these days. With this bloody Covid. This coronavirus, but sampling other people's beers, especially strong beers, because that's what I like. I like the strong stuff, and uh, you know, tens and twelve percenters. 
Whoa. And uh, one of these days I'll get in, I'll, I'll uh, pluck up the courage. It's funny, isn't it? Being a 49 year old, and yet I still get very nervous around people, and I think that's anxiety kicking in. And uh, at my at my best, I can talk to anybody about anything and and uh, talk 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 about beer to people who I don't even know and or never seen before. But you know, it's a, it's a funny thing. I mean, I've been on public parks, talk to people, and, and I'm totally fine with it, you know. And then when going to meet people, it's another thing like going for an interview, a work interview. It's a it's a very strange beast, you know. Although I've gone to work interviews uh, recently, in the last year at least, and uh, as they're interviewing me, I'm actually interviewing them at the same time. I'm thinking to myself that, yes, your your job is an interesting job, but I want to know the ins and outs. You know, it's not just that you're hiring me and I'm desperate to work, desperate for money. No. It's the fact that I want to know that the job is the right job for me. Sadly, two of the jobs that I was offered weren't the right jobs, although the people were nice. Although one of them was a bit fucking hell. I mean, I'm a garden, this bloke was going on about things. Oh, we leave the weeds to develop. And I think, huh? But in the next job, the bloke was honest, soul to the earth bloke, as, as decent as you can get. And a true truly decent person who like most people has to give you room to see if you are what you are because people bullshit as we know people say oh i'm the greatest gardener and then they're not no fuck all and uh, and that's in gardening and you can put that in every single job there's people who think that they know it and they don't you know and there's people who are very good blaggers in this world I can't lie for the fucking life of me. I lie, my wife looks at me and thinks, yeah, you're lying. And uh, so, it's not even worth bothering with. Plus, because I'm so damn forgetful, that if I do lie, if I was to lie, I'd forget and fuck myself up anyway. So I don't lie in the slightest. It's just not worth it. And it's strange. Some things I remember for weeks. Other things, I've got this this filter thing. Ah, oh, fuck it, I'm not remembering that. And the wife says, yeah, do you remember when I told you five minutes ago about that thing? Eh? Hey? And it's not that I'm being ignorant to her. It's just that I, I somehow forget. I blame alcohol. God blame somebody. So, jackhammer. To the bitter end. Tropical. Bitter. And a very nice IPA. 7.2%. Yeah, it went down a tree. 23 minutes, Jesus Christ. Do I talk? Um, yeah, enjoyed it. You know, the brew dog do make some good stuff. You know, some of the stuff they make, I, I do think they've, you know, I do like the company and I do like their ethos. You know, buying a forest, planting it with trees, you know, for a gardener, for somebody who cares about the world, it's a brilliant thing. I'm not a, um, a green warrior, you know. These some of these people. Oh, I'm not eating vegetable. Um, I'm not eating meat, and I'm not eating that. Fuck it, I'll eat meat. Cause I like, I like, I like a bit of steak, ribeye. Oh. But um, yeah, some people are a bit overly. But I do care about the environment, and I do know that how we can beat global warming. You know, it's it's so simple. It's you know, and it, all it is is planting trees. Yeah and calming down on some of the shit that we do on the earth. Having solar panels, you know, fields, and I mean, I'm not talking little fields, I'm talking thousands of acres of solar panels, especially in countries where solar energy, uh, space isn't an issue. Solar energy would create such a thing. You know, China, America, two of the world's biggest pollutants could, with the space they've got, build mega solar farms and I'm talking thousands and thousands of acres and could create that much energy that they could sell the energy to the rest of the world you know it's not 
on them plant forests that also bring the environment back together. It's not rocket science, it really isn't. You know, it's not that hard. Who am I? Just a gardener in Nottingham, you know. But uh, it really isn't that hard. Because the money you spend, you'd reap the rewards easily. Especially in these mega countries. You know, Britain's too small really to do a lot of stuff. But we can still do forests. And still do our bit. And persuade other countries to do their bit. Changing the ethos. So, out of five, bloody hell, I've really walloped on tonight. You can tell I've been on the garden too long doing that, can't you? Uh, although it was interesting, you know, for the most part. Um, I still don't know how it's going to end up. <laughs> Could end up a total fucking bodge job. But, in any bodge job, in, in any job you do, as a gardener, even if things go south, I know how to cover my tracks. I know how to make it as good, as, as solid as it can be. Even if it, even if it isn't... What a joiner would do. I know how to make it solid. And uh, I know how to win. And I will win. In anything I do. You know. Or try it. Or, or try my best at least. So. Out of five. For me. Um, a good IPA. Um, nice. A good tropical aroma and taste. Uh, good bitter finish. And. Um, yeah it was it was quaffable. Seven point two percent. I didn't I didn't think it was too bad. You know, I know it's seven point two percent, but it's we're in quaffable territory. But that's probably because I've been on the garden all day and I'm ready for a good drink. Um four point three out of five. Yes. Not top ten sorry, territory. It's not complex enough for that, but a decent effort in the end. And that's it for this beer review. I need to do some Instagramming tomorrow. Jesus Christ, do I. I think I'll do three or four at a time, then crack on with that. Early early day tomorrow. I need to start. Crack on. Get sorted. I need to be winning. It's all about winning in this world. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you soon. Cheers.